gets in here from a moment of zen and I'm going to talk to you about the most important relationship that you will ever, ever had. Have. Had? No, have. <laughs> the most important relationship that you will ever, ever, ever have in your entire life. And that is the relationship between you and you. What the heck does that mean? What that means is it's the relationship between you and your inner being. Inner being, source energy, universe, higher power, God, whatever you want to call it. That, that, that aspect of yourself, that non-physical aspect of yourself. It's a relationship that you have between you and you. So what does that mean exactly? What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is... You need to learn to love and accept you just the way you are. If you don't like, let's say your physical body, there's something about it you don't like, too tall, too short, too fat, too thin, you name it, whatever, I don't care. And you pick on yourself for it, you're gonna feel the discord. If you beat on yourself for any reason at all, whether you think you are not good enough, lacking in some way, unworthy, whatever it is that you're feeling about you in a negative way, I'm lonely, nobody wants to be around. Knock it off, first off, stop it. And you feel that awful feeling because your inner being, that source within you, that non-physical part of you, whether you wanna call it God or the universe or whatever, your spirit is not seeing you the way you're seeing you. That part of you is seeing you as the most perfect expression of source energy that there ever was. It is loving you unconditionally. You're putting too much pressure on you, okay? Stop it. If you can learn to love you for who you are, where you are right now. If you, if you wanna be in a relationship and you're not, make peace with where you are. If you wanna look differently than you do, make peace with how you look. If you wanna be somewhere different, make peace with where you are. Once you start making peace with, with who you are and loving you and honoring you and cherishing you and being okay with everything the way it is, even if how it is isn't how you like it, things will start to get better for you. Why? When you start loving and appreciating you, the way you are, where you are right now, you are allowing the connection, the very powerful connection that you have to all that is, you are allowing that connection to flow. You are allowing yourself to tap into the energy that literally creates worlds. It's who you are. It's inside all of us from the most rich and powerful, to the most spiritual and serene, to the most downtrodden and awful people. We all have that connection to our source. We all are expressions of that that is non-physical, okay? How your life plays out all depends on your relationship between you and your source energy, okay? You see how that works? When you are loving you the way your source energy is loving you, the world is your oyster. Doors will fling open, people will flock to you that have what you are needing or know how to get it to you. Things will line up in ways you've never imagined just because you took the time to love and appreciate you, who is an extension of all that is and you're allowing all that wonderful, well-being, positive energy to flow into your existence. I cannot stress it enough. This is a process. You can do it. I'm still working it. I still have my days where I have self-doubt and, and beat up on myself. I'm getting better at it. I don't do it as much as I used to. And when I do do it, I catch myself real quick and say, knock it off. You can do this. You got this. There's no rush. There's nothing serious going on. Everything is fine. It's always working out. Even when it seems like it's not, it's working out. Just relax. Relax. Go with
with the flow, find some peace, love you, most importantly love you, because you're the only one that's gonna make a difference in your world. Everything else is temporary. The joy that other people bring to you, if you haven't lined up your energy first with who you really are, that magnificent, joyful being that you really are, and I know some of you might be thinking, lady, shut the hell up, I am in misery. I know, I've been there. If you can fall in love with you, all those worries will fall away. You won't feel lonely. You won't feel deprived. You won't feel like you're missing out on anything or lacking in any sort of way. That's really, that's it folks. Love you, fall in love with you and you can get there. I love you, you gotta love you. Cause when you're loving you, when you are loving and joyful and appreciative of you, that reflects outward and you're gonna get it back too. Cause the more you're giving to yourself and it's not just your physical self, when you love yourself, you are loving all that is. You are loving that source energy. You are loving that God force. So when you are loving you, you are loving all that is, which includes everyone around you. And it just radiates from you. And you will get back what you give to you, okay? I love you and I hope you love you too. If there's anything else I can do for you, if there's any videos I can create or any topics you need me to cover, let me know. You can put them in the comments box below. You can message me through the shop Facebook page or website. However it is that you need to get a hold of me, get a hold of me and I'll make a video for you. If you like this one, if it was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I hope everything is going well for you. And again, I love you. So you love you and we'll all be great.